Now, eight is on your side, and we continue to follow major breaking news. A Pinellas SWAT standoff with a man wanted in several different counties just ended. And Beth Rousseau has been live there watching this all morning long. She joins us with the very latest. Good morning to you both. And we actually just stepped away from talking with not only the Pinellas County Sheriff, but the Pinellas Park Police Chief. Now, they say that Walter Brios, this man who they were in the standoff with, never should have been on the streets. If you take a look behind me, you can see where resources are starting to clear out following this 13 hour standoff. Now, Eight on Your Side was live with you. We showed you live as this 49 year old was brought out of the hotel and taken into custody. I want to show you a video of those moments again. Now, keep in mind, this all started right around 8 o'clock last night. They say that's when Brios was encountered by a Pinellas Park police officer at a Sam's Club parking lot for stolen tags on his truck. They say that the officer was drugged by Brios, who was trying to drive away from that scene, and that eventually there was a physical altercation, and the officer had to let go of the truck. He has minor injuries today, but is expected to be okay. They say patrolling officers in this area eventually found Brios inside a hotel room. Room here at the Comfort Inn on Ulmerton Road, and that is what led to this 13 plus hour standoff. Now, they say that that Brios has dozens of charges against him, or I should say has been arrested dozens of times with more than 100 charges against him. They say that they had reason to believe he had a handgun with him and that he faced charges in the past of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, violation of probation for escape from a law enforcement officer, and domestic battery. So they say this was a really dangerous situation, not only for the guests at this hotel who were evacuated, but also for the officers that were out here dealing with the SWAT staff. Standoff. Ulmerton Road has since reopened, and they say right now they're working to pin down all the charges that Brios is going to be facing. They also tell us that there is body camera footage of the officer that first encountered Brios. We're going to be working to get our hands on that so that we can bring it to you here on air at 4 o'clock and, of course, on the WFLA app. For the meantime, we're live in Pinellas County this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.